So on this Samsung HTQ, you know, I've whipped the lid off, we're doing some testing today. A couple of things I wanted to point out, just interesting. Um, first one is that for everyone who's ever said my unit got delivered without the drainage kit and the feet, they, they didn't, they're there. Um, you'd be amazed how many of them are still in there five years down the road. A um, couple of other things, worth getting a photo of this. It's your serial number and model number of your unit, so just really handy, just part of commissioning. But nice little thing to bear in mind is this little 88 display here. Quite hard to see on a mobile phone, but most importantly is look at these little buttons underneath. So one, two, three, and four. So three is a reset. If you press that, it's like resetting the power, but much faster. And number four allows you to access a menu. Um, so each time you press it, this display changes to so one, two, three, four, and then you read the data here. So for instance, um, number one is the speed the compressor should be running at, number two is the speed the compressor is running at, um, and so on. I think five and six are flow and return temperatures and so on. So if you uh, make a note of this and quickly just scroll through by pressing this button, um, you can actually see um, what the unit's doing without any service computers and, and anything. It's a really good way of like kind of interrogating the unit. If things are looking good, it will say A0000, which is just kind of says I'm alive. If there's anything wrong with it, it usually has an E here, which tells you the error codes are 123 or 911 or something like that. Something that is handy if you think you've got a really old unit is if you press and hold down this button for five seconds, it tells you the software on this PCB. If you press it for another five seconds, it tells you the software on the PCB behind, the big inverter PCB. Um, and if you press the third one, it gives you another number, which is kind of like a software version. And these are quite handy. Your distributor should be able to tell you things like whether it's the latest versions of software, that kind of thing. Um, and this has always been the case on Samsung units, it's right back to day one. So always these buttons are used for these uh, bits and pieces. If you think you've got like refrigerant problems or your unit's not working very well and so on, if you get the unit running, running well, and then go through and press this K4 button and make a note on a bit of paper or read it out. I tend to video it like this and read what it's saying because the phone, as you can see, doesn't pick it up. So I go 105206 and so on and send that video over to your technical support guy, they, it's like they're inside the unit, so it makes the life really, really easy to fix the system.